Happy Happy Steve. Hi, Steve. Hi, Karen. Uh, I'm not much on doing these. I, I'm not very good at it. And um, I honestly didn't know what to do or well, how to do it. And so I asked Karen, you know, what do I do? And she said, you go into a room by yourself and you sit down and get some paper and write down what you want to say and then you'll, you'll know. So here, here goes. Oh my goodness. Um, I've seemed to grab the wrong roll. I think I better hold on to this. I'm just kidding. We just want to bless you, Steve. And, uh, you know, uh, we, we thought back today when we were thinking, thinking of you and Karen and, and uh, what God has done through you. Uh, it's amazing what he has done in Alberta through you. But I just want to say, uh, you know, thanks for what you've done here as well uh, for the church in Gravenhurst. And, uh, I mean, you brought that up to where it is. And, uh, you know, God is, uh, your reward is waiting, and uh, we just want to bless you, and we love you guys. We love your, uh, your humor. I know you're going to get back at me someplace, some down the road, but, but uh, we just want to bless you on your, on your retirement. And, um, you know, lots of love and, uh, and peace and joy, and we'll be praying in on this. Uh, on the weekend uh, as a congregation there's a lot more people wanted to say some stuff and uh, we just wouldn't let them so um, you know god bless you. please take us with you go away go away another 10 years i told you <laughs> who was that <laughs> anyways uh congratulations steve and uh we're gonna see you and uh i believe that um you're heading at east and uh, uh, we're going to pop in. We're going to pop in and see you. Once you get settled, we're moving in, brother. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, congratulations. And uh, God bless you both. Is this what you were looking for? Oh, yeah, that's it right there. Is that the yeah, paper my that you were looking for? Yeah. I knew I wrote it down somewhere. <laughs> congratulations, Steve and Karen. We love you guys.
we give you our thanks, we give you our love, and we give you our blessing for the future.
on our behalf for Memorial. I want to tell you just how important you've been to Memorial's ministry. When you arrived, we had a vision of our future here, and I'm sure you two did as well. And we were off to a wonderful start. But while we planned the ways of the world interfere, COVID came, and it was devastating. At a time when you two were starting to get to know us, we were shut down. Instead of seeing our smiling faces in the pews, you had to look at an empty sanctuary. But God definitely put his spirit in you. With Karen's support, the indomitable Sherry and Lee and the motley crew of multimedia people, you not only provided Sunday services, but midweek devotions, extra Christmas messages, and week-long services for Easter. You braved howling winds and frigid temperatures to lead the Easter sunrise service with mostly good humor. One of your services had more than a thousand people watch it. Another interesting thing was that Presbytery caught wind that you were knowledgeable and experienced, and they pounced. You were sent in four different directions and given the toughest of the tough jobs. To be fair, you volunteered for one of them. But wow, as they say, God takes care of fools and babies. I hope you recover someday. <laughs> and Karen, through it all, you were the steadying home he needed. I know it must have been so lonely, away from your family and isolated, and the demands on Steve's time were extensive. There was no church family that you could spend time with to provide that closeness. But each time we saw you, you were kind and sweet, almost you a lot. Steve, your messages from the pulpit were spot on and brought such depth to the scripture, things that I've never thought of. I'll never forget the Holy Week where we walked along with you, watching the scenes unfold as you described them, and feeling I was right there, sitting on the sidelines or watching from nearby. What a gift you have and what a gift you gave us. But your Bible studies were next level. I can say as one of your students, I will miss those days the most. You taught us all how to read the Bible, not just the words on the page, but the depth behind them. You showed us how to understand that we can collectively teach each other and that a, curriculum, that a curriculum isn't really what we need. When you served communion to the lodge and joined in the music, you brought the Lord into that room. What a day. I thank you. Have I mentioned how touching your services were to those who would soon leave this world? Whether communion or in teaching, the depth of comfort you brought was profound. The person you were serving and the family members present were shown the light of God in your words and your actions. <clears throat> but you blessed the staff at these facilities as well. When they saw and heard of your services, they also saw the light. Thank you for your dry, delightful, infuriating sense of humor. I'll just leave that there. <laughs> there are far too many things that you've done to us in such a short time. And I see that the time is right for you to set off on your next adventure. I pray that you, Karen, and Steve will find the joy you so richly deserve. You have given up yourselves for so many years, and now it's time to relax and enjoy God's work. I pray that you find great comfort and joy in having your family closer, and that you find fulfillment in pottery in your new home. Think of us now and again, especially when Ken and I show up for a visit. And whenever you come to visit our region again, know that you will be greeted with delight. Congratulations on your retirement. And Karen, enjoy working for Nova Scotia. And throw out the African Bible. <laughs> we have a little gift here for you. I'll bring it to you. And then I'll ask you to say this. Her fault, she gave the preacher a chance to say something.
can't find this, go to the funeral home, the director will tell you where we live. <laughs> I've worked with them all. <laughs> so they will uh, inevitably be able to point you in the right direction. One thing I wanted to say, um, Dawson keeps saying, you know, that I was here such a short time. And it wasn't, it wasn't that long. Uh, you want to look at my record book and see the amount of sermons and services and things that we did. It was a long time. <laughs> However, I want to point this out. I was here through three office administrators. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a word with that. Lord, we do come before you thanking you for this time. We ask now that you will bless the time we spend over this meal, the fellowship, the conversation. Be near to us, to the gift of your spirit. We pray this in your name. Amen. One thing before you skip out, if you haven't signed the sign, and you don't know what that means, it's on the table up the front. So make sure you sign the sign.